Lydia, I'm sorry about what I said the other day. And you are right. I am having an affair. It's just that I always assumed that you were having one too and that you really didn't care. Well, I do care. I felt betrayed. But you are right about one thing. What's that? I am having an affair. I mean, we haven't kissed or anything, but we've come pretty close. So does this mean the marriage is over? I guess so. But I really wish we could try again. Do you think we'll last? No, but we might as well try. Yeah. I'll get it. Clark. Who are Sam and Scott? Well, Scott's my boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. No, boyfriend. You see, I can't even stand looking at you. Sam's here to help me get through that. Oh, you're a psychiatrist, Sam? No, not quite. Sam's here to get rid of you. Lydia! <laughs> You're so corny. Let me take care of this. I'm here to kill you. I have a gun. It's loaded. I plan on using it before I leave, and I plan on using it on you. Is this some kind of joke? No joke, Mr. Stevens. Now say bye-bye. What the hell are you talking about? Bye-bye, Mr. Stevens. And I'm corny? You were treating him like a baby. What's the difference? He's dead now. Well, what are you waiting for? Go hide the body! Money first. Fine. Nice work, Sam. Let's go. You so damn pussy lady, I'm going as fast as I can. Come on, Mr. Stevens, time to go. Nice to miss in 20 hours. Well, now that you're officially a widow, when are you going to report him missing? In 24 hours. Well, now that he's gone, can I get you a drink? Sure. I'll have some water. No, club soda's better. I'll go get you a glass, see if you like it. Then I have to get back to work. Fine. I've never tried it before. But tomorrow, remember, you have to come console me. I'll be very upset. And then you'll finally get to meet my family. Fine. I'll go get you a drink. Then I gotta get back to work. Okay. Here you go. Now take a sip. I want to see if you like it. Okay. Mmm, I love it. Great. Now give me a hug before I go. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. I love you. I love you too. He loves me. I'm rich, beautiful, and loved. And what's this? For. It's the money. $7,500. Now take care of it. And while you're at it, clean my gun. Aww. So, how was your day? Not bad. Kind of boring, actually. Really? That's too bad. Well, you won't have any more boring jobs after today. I can guarantee you that one. What makes you say that? Put the gun down. You don't scare me. If you pull the trigger, it'll go off. Be careful. Really? So let me just get this straight. I just pull this trigger and... Hmm. Not bad, Jane. Not bad at all.
got, JD? Not bad, Chris. Ten thousand dollars total. How about you? I beat you. Clark paid me fifteen thousand to knock off his old lady. Well, he won't beat me next time. Where are we going next? Well, sis, I hear they could use some hitmen in Albuquerque. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I've already called the taxi. We'll meet him at the corner. Dad would be so proud.